It wasn't nothing like that like first time. She was in my math class. Brown hair, brown skin with the fat ass. Back to accounting three again, bruh. If you ain't following me on Vine, follow me on Vine, because I be posting, bruh. I be posting. So today is really simple. Uh, go to class. Uh, maybe shoot a video for Sneaker Life. I'm trying to decide. I'm trying to get back on that wave of daily vlogging, kind of get this back to being a vlogging channel. Um, I got a question in the comments, do's and don'ts of college, so I'm going to address that today, man, because it's, it's actually really simple as a freshman, man. Nothing can beat 10 cents off each gallon. Up. Let's see what the total cost comes to. 22. E. Man, sometimes you just gotta be happy with the simple things in life. Blessed to be able to fill up my gas tank. Blessed to be 21 and buy a brand new car. Blessed to be able to afford my car payments every month because they are crazy. Still trying to decide if this day is nice enough to be able to shoot the video uh, for the new Jays. And um, another thing I want to know, like you guys' feedback as far as, should I just create a new channel for my like skits and main channel videos? I used to have Mike the Compass, but it's under a contract with a company that I do not like, so I refuse to make videos for it. Um, but yeah, man, like, are you guys cool with me just throwing out skits every once in a while in here? Maybe I make like a set date where I drop a skit every week, but otherwise, you know, this is just a vlog channel. I also made my new fitness channel, which I don't know when it's officially going to have a video, but it is available. It's called Mike Fittest. Um, if you guys want to subscribe to it, it'll either be down below in the description or you can go on my channel and just click. You'll see on the side, it'll say like other channels and you'll see like a sneaker life, Mike Fittest, uh, a tech life, and then my gaming channel that I also have. A lot of, I have a lot of channels. I plan on doing a lot of content. You know, school's just kind of holding me back right now. <laughs> So I'm in here about to make these steaks real quick. Uh, how did you guys like the cooking show, man? I'm trying to scan this. So I can know. Oh, well, it ain't working. Yeah, man, how did you guys like the whole cooking show, man? I had a lot of fun doing that. It was, it was different. It was definitely different. This lighting is... A banger. Yo, yo, check this, check this. Check out the reach on this thing. Yo! Yo! Look at that. Hands in the air now. Hey, run it. Hands in the air now. Hands in the air now. So I'm still dizzy from spinning. Uh, I should not do that. Tip. A lot of people wanted to know early Jordans. Oh, thumbnail. Let's hit it. Uh, a lot of people want to know where to get early Jordans, man. I, t I told you guys. Uh, people want to know how to have a successful channel. I started out reviewing early Jordans and that kind of what excelled me to the growth that my YouTube channel had as far as shoes. It's just because it was different. A lot of people weren't doing it and I really pushed that. You know, really, that's kind of what it's all about. Everyone brings their own creativity to YouTube, and you kind of got to just, like I, like I always tell people, man, if you want to be a YouTuber, you really need to figure out who you are, what you want to be, what you want to do, and look at the big dogs, the people that are really up there, and you basically do what they're doing, but in your own version. You know, it's kind of like having ghostwriters, you know? You get the music, and you create it and put your own spin on it and you make it yours you make it unique you make it your content so yeah man if you guys want early jordans hit up my boy fine line 1721 on instagram he will hook you up but you gotta pay to play man another thing about youtube is you can't get big off of a crappy camera or low quality shoes or grs you gotta spend money you gotta invest in your own future but i mean i guess in reality that's kind of with everything yeah i know my room is a mess it is a mess but I wanted to show you guys kicks of the day, outfit of the day, uh, cousin's brand jersey, cousin's brand hat. People are gonna be like, yo, where'd you, where'd you cop that from? I'll put it down below in the description. Use my code, you get 30% off of all this. We gotta get that on fleek lighting. I mean, it's, it's time to get serious. It's cooking time. It's time to get serious. So them steaks are sensationally grilled. Psych. <laughs> They're sensationally seasoned, I should say. 
A lot of people are going to be like, yo, dude got all these sneakers, but he's why is he using paper plates, old broke-ass Hey, bro, shut the f*** up. I like paper plates because you can throw them away when you're done with them. So now you get it all wrapped up, right? Right. You put it all nice and protected, right? Right, 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 right. Then you let it sit for five minutes in the foil and just the juices just, they start flowing. Now, this is meal prepping at its finest. Once my uh, mic fittest drops around, I'll, I'll be able to emphasize more on like planning your meals. You know, it's actually, it's a lot easier, especially when you're in school, man. It just saves a lot of money instead of spending $10 on Chipotle every day. And it's just a banger. You can see, you can see. I'm real serious about this. We mean business. You need to learn how to cook, man. A lot of people my age and just people in general don't know how to cook just because we're so busy. But in reality, there is time to cook. You just got to make the time. You know, you got to stay disciplined. But if you want to keep spending $10 on Chipotle and McDonald's and Burger King, you do your thing. I'm going to do mine, you know? So now I'm going to feast a little bit and then we're going to get to those whole do's and don'ts of college. Yeet. All right, so do's and don'ts of college. I'm gonna keep this list very simple, you know, just as a freshman. I'm gonna, let me, let me tell you my story. Freshman year, I was fortunate enough to be able to have my own house. So I had a two bedroom house uh, in Denver, I had a huge backyard, I had my dogs with me. I basically lived on my own. The majority of freshmen are gonna be in the dorms, okay? So most likely you'll be in the dorms. I was lucky, I really can't handle roommates and people that get on my nerves. Just know you most likely will get on your nerves, or get on your nerves. Your nerves will be up here, you'll be very irritable by the end of the semester with your roommate. So just be prepared for that. If you're lucky, you know a lot of the basketball guys, you kind of got to pick who you're with, but most people just get stuck with randoms. But you don't need to worry about that right now. Really, I want, I want to stick to some basic things. First off, be responsible. You know, this kind of seems to be the hardest thing that people have going to college because you don't have your parents breathing down your neck anymore. You're free. You are completely free. You do what you want. You don't want to go to class? Don't go to class. You don't want to do the homework? Don't do the homework. You don't want to go do laundry? Don't do your laundry. You don't want to get out of bed? You don't want to leave your room? You don't have to. It's up to you. So just be responsible. It's really not that hard. People go to college and they just start partying and acting crazy. Party responsible, man. You can have fun, just be smart about it. It's really not that hard. That's more of the social realm of college, man. Meet people, you know. I honestly didn't, the only reason I met people was through basketball because I was a basketball player. Otherwise, I'm kind of a loner. I'm kind of a lone wolf. I'd rather be on my own and not deal with people's drama. So my suggestion to you is to get out, explore, meet people, because there's actually a lot of great people that you can meet, but it's really up to you. Another thing would be to stay organized, man. I, the biggest problem I have is staying un or I'm so unorganized, man. Like, at the beginning of the semester, I got all my folders, I got my notebooks, I got my planner, I'm ready. But by like, the second week, I fall off and I just don't care. Yo, man, just stay organized. Just don't, procrastination is its worst, man. Like. If you could just do your assignments ahead of time, you won't have to worry about it. And there's been a few times where I've done it and I'm like, damn, why don't I just do that all the time? But it's kind of hard, but just have that in your brain. Just know, okay, I have the syllabus now, so I know what we're doing three weeks from now, so why don't I just get that out the way so then when three weeks rolls around, I'm just like, hey, I already got it done, you know? And the most important thing I can tell you school-wise is your first day of class, make sure to go talk to the professor. Go up to him, introduce yourself, Tell them you're looking forward to this class. Don't sit in the back, man. Sit in the middle. I sit in the middle or I either sit in the front. You know, it's it's one or the other. And just go talk to them. Let them know who you are. Oh, I gotta sneeze. Ah. Alright. The better the professor knows you and the more communication that you have with the professor, trust me, you're way better off. I've, I've gotten through a lot of classes just because I talked to the professor and, you know, they are there to help you. Some of them got problems and you ask them a question and you end up like this. All I gotta do is put my mind to this shit. Goddamn. Cancel out my ex, I put a line through it. So class, does anyone know the answer? Mike. Seven. <laughs> you kidding me? No. Stupid ass bitch! I Try to avoid that, man. Just go talk to them. They're normal. It's just a one-on-one -on -one conversation. And watch out for that freshman 25. It can go either way. You can get 25 pounds of muscle or you can get 25 pounds of fat. Don't be lazy. They have a gym at the school. They have, you can get a membership. Go exercise. There's fitness classes, man. There's aerobics. There's tons of activities that the college offers, man. You have no reason to be lazy and get fat. 
yo, go exercise. Stop eating. Stop eating all this junk food in your dorm, ramen noodles. I know it's hard out here, but go do some exercise. It'll make you feel better. It'll keep you from mentally destroying yourself and getting depressed, man. It just, it just ups your vibe. And then, you know, I think the last one that I need to touch around is like a lot of people in college don't know. Let me, let me just break down college. College is basically something that society makes us go to, in my opinion and they keep you in this box. I think school just in general, they, they make you think inside of this box. When you get out of school, the world is yours, man. You, you do what you want sometimes, you know, it really, it's not like I got it all figured out. I'm only 21 years old, you know, but I know, I'm smart enough to know that once you're out of school, man, it's a whole different ball game. It's, it's a tough world, it's a doggy dog world and it's not mommy and daddy paying for your tuition or you working all the time you know it's, it's a whole different ball game but you think outside the box where the hell was i going with this oh yeah I, I was saying like you just don't worry about what you're gonna be just focus on what needs to get done now and it'll come you know when there's opportunities everywhere you should you don't need to worry about that you know too many people stress but don't be dumb don't be stupid like i had a i had a bunch of people in my my class that didn't even know didn't even have a credit score, man. There's a lot of stuff that you gotta learn. You gotta learn on your own. Some people don't know how to, some people just don't teach you that. But you, credit cards, man, building your credit score, that stuff is really important for your future life, man. It'll help you buy a house, it'll help you buy a car. It, it can put you on whole different levels if you use it in the correct manner. Otherwise, if you use it negatively, you're gonna be in so much debt that you ain't gonna know what to do. And you just don't want that. Now, of course, I could do more videos about the whole credit realm and all that. I don't know, maybe I'll get around to it. I guess it all comes down to what you guys would like to know. But really, those are the simplest things that I can think of that are do's and don'ts. Like, just just don't be lazy, man. Don't get unorganized. Know where your classes are. Meet people. Don't be antisocial like me. Uh, and just enjoy it, man. Enjoy it while you can. Now, that doesn't change the fact that I still hate college like i hate school in general i think it's a complete waste of time but i completely understand why we got to do it you know you got to keep your brain fresh you gotta it teaches you a lot it's like a mixture you know i i love there's some classes where i'm like oh this is the dopest class man i can't wait till i can't wait till two days to go back to that class it's so exciting and then there's classes where i'm just sitting in the back like looking at whoever's sitting next to me i'm like yo why why what is this doing for me i'm paying money for this so yeah man it's you know dropped out of school now we done rich hey but there you go i hope the do's and don'ts helped you out man uh if you guys have any other questions that you'd like me to answer that are, you're, you're younger or whatever, you know, I would love to incorporate them in the vlogs. I'm kind of having fun doing the whole vlogging thing and just having kind of a topic to do. So, yeah, it's your boy Mike. Hey. You're so predictable. I hate people like you. Get a roll. Tell me not to trust people like you. Through the day, wake, wake up with champagne. champagne. Hold me an A. I told my mother I would quit. What can I say? I'm still breathing, falling in love every evening.